If you're looking for the easiest to install brake controller that doesn't require any wiring or drilling holes in your tow vehicle, I got you covered with the Kurt Echo Wireless Brake Controller. Now I'm going to show you how to install it in three easy steps. So the first step is going to be installing the safety strap and then we're simply going to plug it into the tow vehicle. So to install the strap, you're going to take one end, stick it right through the clasp here, pull it through, and this button will probably be removed. I just had it in there so I didn't lose it, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure that button is removed, pull it through until it kind of sits in place. Then you're going to install the button, making sure that it faces out like so. And then we're simply going to take the echo brake controller and slide it into the seven way receptacle. Once it is in, you'll then take the safety strap, loop it up and over the cap for our seven way, and then secure it on the button. So step two is gonna be to pair the Echo Wireless Brake Controller with the phone. In order to do that, we wanna make sure the tow vehicle is on and running and set to park. Once that's done, we will then simply pair the device on the cell phone, wait for it to connect. And then once done, we will want to set up our tow vehicle as well as the trailer. Because again, you may have different trailers you're towing, you may have different tow vehicles. It's one of the great things about the Echo Brake Controller is you can take it from vehicle to vehicle. Once it's paired, we'll then take our seven-way plug and plug it into the brake controller. There we go. Just like that. With our brake controller paired and plugged into the seven-way, we then move to step three, which is setting up our profile. Now, because the Echo brake controller can be used on several different uh, tow vehicles as well as different trailers, we want to make sure that we set up our profile accordingly. So here, we, you can see we have set that up. We are then simply going to open the echo brake controller. You can see that we have a warning on here. We will accept that. Same thing, letting us know that, uh, you know, because this will be mounted on the dashboard, make sure that you're not distracted, as well as Bluetooth. Uh, this is a, a good one actually just to, to point out, and that's that even if your Bluetooth is disconnected, I know this is a big question, it will still stay active. It'll use the last settings that you put in so even if you're in a bad uh, cell reception zone, don't worry, everything will still function the way it's supposed to. So now that we have this, now we can set up our profile. We can set the maximum brake output, the sensitivity. Now the sensitivity is not going to adjust anything for the manual. That will only be for uh, the brake controller itself when it is functioning in normal use. And in order to use manual, that's what this big button is right here. You push and hold. That will be a manual override on the brake controller to uh, carefully slow everything down. The outside ring is essentially going to be the amount of brake output. So as you push and hold, you can kind of see what your trailer brakes are doing. Now, I know not everyone's gonna love using their phone for manual override. So they've also come out with an actual physical button. You can see that right here. This just sticks to your dash. That way you have a different button you can use. In order to connect that, you will just uh, essentially click right down on the bottom and you can see where you can pair that device. So as you can see, this is the easiest brake controller to install. If you would like one for yourself, simply stop into your local Camping World or visit CampingWorld.com.